Final day of the volleyball season. Two teams looking to end the year with a win. Rock Falls and Galena also looking to make a little bit of history along the way. Let's start in Class 1A. Galena in the state title game against Hartsburg Emden. Game one and the Pirates fighting back. It's Gracie Furlong with some strong net play. She takes advantage of the bad pass to score. Galena down 11-9. Pirates would pull even as Addie Hayful gets a set in the back roll. She rolls it over, knocking the game up at 15. Galena would take command from there. Julia Holland serving up the ace, and the Pirates lead 17-15. Galena continues their run. The quick set from Abigail Merritt to Maya McCoy. She gets the point across. And then on game point, the Pirates would go to their outside hitter, Gracie Furlong, with the hammer. Galena wins 25-23. Game two, Furlong still with the hot hand. The perfect set, and you just can't stop that. Galena out to an early lead. Everyone contributing for the Pirates. Freshman Nevaeh Hauber finding the right spot. Their lead is six. And Galena would close out the game as Leah Heller serves up the winner. As a violation is called, Galena wins the state title with a two-game sweep, making some school history. It's incredible. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to cry after this game, but literally you, I cannot express that feeling after that game. Like so many emotions, I'm, I'm so grateful for this team. We wanted to do it for everyone that came here and supported us, and we wanted it 800 times more than the other team did, and I think that we know that the whole community is behind us, and I think it helped us and it pushed us, and we knew that like that game was going to be ours if we executed. It is the best feeling. Um, I have came down here the past two years for basketball and we didn't quite succeed, but this year, and especially being a huge part of this team, was just an awesome feeling. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. These girls have just been such a journey this year. It's just so incredible. The Pirates end the year 36-4. and four. They will be our guest on the score Sunday. Class 2A, Sheila Pillars coaching her last game at Rock Falls as they face Carmi in the third place game. Game one, Rockets find themselves battling back. Look at the effort here from Claire Bickett. She finds the back corner. Rockets are down by five. Rock Falls still coming back. Denali Stonich goes over on two, catching everyone sleeping. Rockets down three. They tie it at 21, and then Rock Falls finds her spark, and it comes from their senior leader, Bickett, with the power, 22-21. And they close out game one as Nicolette Udell goes down the line, 25-22 winners. They go to a third set. Rockets in control from the jump. Bickett with another of her 22 kills, 6-4. Rock Falls defense was strong. Ari Reyna with the denial at the net, and the Rockets would grab an eight-point lead. Everything going Rock Falls' way in this game. Sophia Moeller just sends it over and gets the point across, 16-6. And the Rockets finish it off with a set from Stonich to Bickett. Rock Falls sends Sheila Pillars out with a win and their first ever state trophy. Third place out of the entire 2A, like it's pretty awesome. Um, even though maybe we didn't end the way we wanted to, like we're still here. We still got this experience. We're seniors. Just going to state in general is just a amazing opportunity for us. To go out on a win, not many teams in the state can say that they did that. I mean, only eight teams here. It might have been for third and fourth, but it's still going out on a win, and I'll take that over anything. Phenomenal to be able to provide that for our school, the community, the parents, the fans, all the people that have made what Rock Falls is, and to be able to share it with them is so important. You know, you're going to walk into the school and see the trophy every single day, and um, it just really means a lot that we can go out and do that. I just feel very accomplished. The Rockets finish the season at 35 and 6.